This tutorial covers the basics of the Document Control Module. There are two areas of the Document Control Module. Release Documents is dedicated to the current revision of all release documents, while the Manage Documents option allows you to do everything needed to prepare a document for release. Creating a new document can be done from the Document Search screen or from the New button on the main menu. The New button allows you to create a new record in most of the modules simply by clicking New, then the module you want to create the new record in. If you see a drop-down list that does not have the options you want, the linked field title lets you know you can click on the title link to edit the list. Once the document control information is created, you can initiate a DCO from here, or we can do that from the document management screen. The dashboard displays the list of assignments for the user shown above. The dashboard links will then open the screen you need to navigate to those tasks. In the document control module, the number link will take you to where you need to be based on the document status. The document title link will always open the document management screen. Since there is no draft in progress, the document management screen was opened so that we can initiate a new DCO ECR. However, if we click on the number link for a document that is ready for approval, the document release screen opens. These two screens, Document Management and Document Release, are the main screens of the Document Control Module. Now let's create a new DCO for our document and look at the minimum steps to approve and release it. The Action drop-down list is used for the important steps on a given screen. From here we can see the basic steps to release our document. After our DCO ECR is submitted, notice we will have a new document dashboard task appear, Drafts to Load. This is one of the document viewer screens, of which five can be opened for both release documents as well as draft documents. This field is where the actual document will go. We can get to the document viewer screen from several directions. This includes the document dashboard, the document search, as well as document management and document release screens. If you release a document with template in the title, it will appear on the next screen and be available to load as your initial draft to get started. Otherwise, right-click the Document field and select Insert Object to load a document. There are a few best practices to be aware of in this module. One, always make sure the Display as Icon checkbox is checked.
Depending on your version of Office, you might have trouble with .x file types. It'll work better to use the doc file type instead. One of the user settings that affects document control is whether you want documents to open automatically when you open a document viewer screen. When set to yes, whatever document you have loaded will open automatically. We will change it to no for the rest of the tutorial. The next thing we will need to do is assign who will need to approve this document. There are several other features available from this screen, such as setting up reviewer groups. Allowing the reviewers to have access to the document before it is submitted for approval will let them make changes to the document. This can be a handy method for collaborating before the read-only approval stage. There are several places that the Lean Machine will automatically create emails for you. Sending them is optional. Notice that when we open a document as a reviewer, the document is checked out to us on a first come first serve basis. Allowing reviewer access to the draft document is also optional. You could just edit it and submit for approval. We have established the reviewer list and collected reviewer feedback, so the next step is to submit for approval. As we saw before, the number link will take us to where we need to be, which in this case is the document release screen that is already open. The four actions available to be performed on this screen are listed here. After the document is reviewed, it is approved and released. When documents are not set to automatically open, simply double click the document icon to open the document. There are also links to supporting information, like comments, that might also need to be reviewed before approval. If there are any important links, such as comments or attachments, they will be called out on the Notices field automatically. If there is something to fix, the document can also be returned. Let's go ahead and release it. The Lean Machine will attempt to email everyone on the training record for this document. Since we did not set up a training list or training record, no names are checked. Document training is optional and can also be assigned after the document is released. All release documents are also easily accessible from the Release Documents button on the main menu. 
Just like the other document control screens, the numbered link opens the actual document and the title link opens the main document page. Now let's look at some of the system settings available for document control. As you can see, there are quite a few system setting options for document control. These allow particular behaviors to be turned on or off by the management rep. If the description is not obvious, more information can be found in the help files by clicking the help button. There are also help buttons on some of the tabs, which are specific to that tab.